I'm here today with my Book Buddy-a-thon TBR. The Book Buddy-a-thon is being run by Sam at Coltine Crumbs and Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books. I will be linking their channels down below if you want to go check them out. And my buddy for this one is Jo from over at Jo Reads Books. I didn't even have to say it, she's my booktube BFF, so it's only fitting that we're in this together. This is actually the first readathon that I've ever participated in, and as soon as Elena announced it, I just knew that I had to do it, because why not do something with your best girlfriends, and it's so much fun, it combines everything I love, female friendship, reading, books of the young adult persuasion. There's five challenges involved with this one, and I'm just going to be running through them and showing you the books that I will be hopefully reading for this readathon. The first question is, pick three books and get your buddy to pick one for you to read. So the first book that I decided that I wanted to read was The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. And the next was A Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, which has been described as a Hunger Games with Pokemon type thing. And then the last book was Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. Jo has picked Rosamund Hodge's book Cruel Beauty for me to read, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So I'm very excited to read that one. The second challenge is buddy read a book with you. We have decided to read read Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. My god that, that is terrible! There it is. I assure you that this is the cover of um, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. And we're also going to watch the movie together which is really exciting because we're constantly talking on Twitter and we are Facebook friends so it will be easy to do that. Question number three is read a book with your buddy's favourite colour on the cover and Joe's favourite colour is purple so I have got three different books. I'm going to see how I'm feeling when it comes time to complete this challenge and the three books that I have I'm tossing up between reading are Across the Universe by Beth Rebus. Vivian Apple at the End of the World by Katie Coyle. This actually sounds really cool. Magical Molly is always talking about how much she loves this book. It's about a girl named Vivian Apple and she's living in a time when the there's an extremist church that's sort of come to power in America. Um, the rapture is basically going to begin and on this particular day her parents are believers in this church. She's at a party and she comes home and there are two holes in her roof where her parents have apparently ascended and she's just stuck on earth. So it's her story of um, how she is trying to find her parents, to find out what happened to them, and I'm really sorry that you can't see the cover properly. And then the last book that I have as a possibility to read is Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I said in a previous video that I don't always reach for Jennifer L. Armentrout books, but I end up loving them. I've actually heard Tiffany from About to Read say that this is sort of like Vampire Academy in the way that it's set in a boarding school. I think it has something to do, it's a mythology element, you know, JLA really does like to kind of get it in there with a couple of those. But this is definitely a possibility just because I need to remind myself that I really do enjoy her style of writing. So it might be this one. This is sort of the one that I'm leaning towards more than anything. The next challenge is a reader book that your buddy gave five stars to and that one is going to be Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I have wanted to read this anyway. I've also managed to track down the audiobook as well as the ebook. So I could be listening to the audiobook and just probably laughing at absolutely everything she says. And the last question is, read a book that you want to just because. It's definitely going to be out of them for me, out of The Darkest Minds, Fire and Flood, Across the Universe, Vivian Apple at the End of the World, or Half-Blood. Just because I've given myself so many options, because it is my first readathon, like I said, and I don't really want to get stuck into anything and just kind of freak out and have like no other options, so I'm going to choose out of the ones that I haven't read for the other ones that I've shown you. So... Okay guys, that's my TV. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a really, really great day and I hope that you're doing it as well. All right, big hugs and kisses. Mwah! Bye.